medal in the bag at a home Grand Prix, a lot of pressure. But Theo Lucin producing a great performance. But Perez Polo, he goes into the final. So it'll be a bronze for Theo Lucin and Bradley Sinden of Great Britain. And what a final that promises to be at the men's 68. Looking forward to that one. But of course, we make a move now up into the welterweights. Richie Andre Orderman against Viras Katusi. Well, here he comes. I was speaking to him before he made his way into this one. He says, for once, I'm not the tallest one in the category. But it'll be a tall order to beat him. A good performance today. Yeah, amazing, especially in the, this was the quarterfinal with Jordan Olympic medalist, silver medalist. So I think that gave him a little confidence. But I think he also, like APP, he won a couple medals grand prix final a couple years ago he won gold so that that go, goes in his favor it certainly does and trying to go against him Piras katusi flanked there by trabelsi safety former world medalist the coach that win against Juan nam gun of korea yeah that fight was amazing but fight before that also olympic bronze medalist yeah <laughs> that is some good score today for him Daniel Park in charge of proceedings. The first of two semi-finals there. And Juan Antonio Ramos now in the Norwegian coaching corner. And it will be an adjustment. So Richard Andre Orderman around six feet four, six feet five. This is amazing, they are so tall. <laughs> but you can see a lot of fighters from the 80 kilograms go to heavy after a couple of years, so this is normal. <laughs> and just also, Firas Katusi, world number one ranked in minus 74. Amazing. So he's moved up to the 80, obviously for the Olympic category. That's the man in red, the taller of the two. Tries with a twisting kick to start, but Andre Orderman we saw a little bit the importance of experience for Perez Polo. Can Orderman use that Olympic Games knowledge? And as you mentioned, that success he had back in Fujairah. Seems a lifetime ago now. Yeah, I, I think so also, but he has the experience, but usually he was the tallest in his category. Now he's not, and I think this is a new style for him to fight with someone who is taller yeah it's an adjustment sometimes the taller fighter is happy to let the smaller fighter come in of course i'm glad you said that that's what i always used to try and think of it's okay at least i can see them on the way in you know but orderman taking his time he's the man in blue katusi just looking to hold that center of the ring. Good ring management, certainly. Good back leg turning kick, pretty close. Yeah, this was amazing kick, good timing. For me, it looked strong, but it was in the block, so good blocking for, for Katusi. And also good confidence there from Odom, and that's a sign that you, you've already got your distance, you already feel yeah. comfortable. That's why he wants open stats. I think he wants to punch, he wants to do back kick, and he's trying all the time. He's doing more work than, than Katusi. Well, just if you're new to the sport, open stance, the opposite foot in front, just to give that opening to draw them in. Close stance. Well, I'm sure you're an expert, but it's the opening there for Katusi. Yeah, good inverted kick from the long distance. Richard didn't block, and 2-0 and 20 seconds more. Yeah, the inverted kick there, as you say. Can he reverse the fortunes? Order in 10 seconds. Firas Katusi looking good. Big punch there from the Norwegian. Great body movement. And it lands. A couple of seconds to go. Good push there. And that will seal it. Well, no Firas so far. Yeah, he used. He made uh, one chest to do inverted kick. He tried it two times. He scored. Richard did a lot of good things in the first round. He didn't score yet. This was amazing kick, as we can see. He tried one more after that. He tried a punch, score one time, but in the second round, 
he needs to do maybe something more, maybe to do a couple, couple kicks after that. Yep, listening intently, no doubt, to the instructions of Juan Antonio Ramos. As Trablesi, safe team, gives the instructions in the opposing corner. What adjustments can they make? We will find out. Ten seconds more of rest. So eyes down, look in first round in favour of the fighter in red. First to two will do. Orderman firing forward, back leg. So far, a passenger jumps up there on the inside. More adaptation from the Norwegian. Okay, to see try one more time, but Orderman learned in the first round. Yeah, the top fighters adapt. Almost there, just gets the shoulder up to block that one. Both men looking for the front leg. This time Orderman with the long left on the way through. Still plenty of time left. Good step inside there from Orderman, still looking for the head. Yeah, he tries it one more time, but this was not so close. You probably just saw the little power bars appear on the bottom of the screen. As you were saying, the head shot not so close, but the body shots, they have to reach a power threshold. I'm not exactly sure what the power threshold is. One day I'll, I'll learn it. But who's got the power to find a way through? A little bit of a low kick there as Orderman taps his leg. As the clock ticks, 40 to go. Yeah, he tries it one more time, but in the first round, he tried it really well, and it was so close. But I think now it's a good shot with the front leg to try. Tries again, as you say, goes from front to back, and the little blue light is on underneath Odeman's name, which means he's got more hits on the board. Four to two. There's the head shot, though. I think we're going to see the card this time. Yeah, but this was amazing, a little bit different because he act like he's going to punch and after that he did back kick and I think he scored, we'll see now, but 3-0 for him after that, he'll be back in the game, 1-1 one, one in rounds. Liking the dramatic music, I don't know where yeah, that came from. for the first time. I think they're playing the keyboard as well. What do we think, Melissa? Maybe he touched him, but from this angle, it looks like he's not, but no, it's not. No. It was certainly the flinch, he moved yeah, back. Yeah. A whisker away. Orderman still has the blue light on in his favor, so he's leading this round at this moment. It's 5-3 in terms of hits on the board. There's the back kick, not far away. Good punch. No love from the judges. Can Orderman tie up at one round all? He most certainly can. And he had to work hard for that because really hard five or maybe. six head kicks, a lot of effort. Maybe he needs to change that because Katusi is blocking that every way. Just try for the protector. I think <laughs> if his hand is up, just you use uh, the space you see that it's empty and 2-0 it's a good start and then try to build head kick after that change something and then try again yeah, adaptation the name of the game as, as you say it's only there that i noticed that pretend punch yeah, and yeah it was good he thought he's in a good distance for punch and when he saw he, that he's not he tried for the head kick good try good attempt yeah a smart fighter and they need all of that intelligence because Firas Katusi certainly showing no fear here. Yeah, I admire fighters that don't sit during the break. <laughs> they are amazing for me. I can't wait for that minute just to go and talk <laughs> to my coach and sit and drink water. But Katusi for the second time standing, amazing. Standing tall, quite literally. Who will be outstanding here as they go for a spot in the final?
This will be the deciding round. No more golden score in Taekwondo. There'll be a conclusion to this one, but who's going to get a chance to go for the golden medal? Norway or Tunisia? Orderman trying to fire forward there. Quick off the spot. Both men just fencing here, just killing a little bit of time before the action gets underway. Solid punch from Orderman, but the judges like it. And 1 0 for him. It's funny, there's a little bit of a delay when it goes up. You think, oh, is it going to score? And then it did. Yeah. So we mentioned that change of tactics. Richard Orderman goes again with that left hand punch on the way through. Katusi wants it back into a bit more of a long range game. Good back kick. I didn't expect that really. Uh, the Orderman changed the tactic. He saw that he cannot score to protect her to head. He tried with punches, judges like it, and he tried it one more time. And tries yet again, as you see, this time with a head kick. Halfway through the third round. A little inverted twisting kick on the way through from Katusi to no avail. Good try from the inside, but didn't score. I think <laughs> Richard is looking at the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah, he is indeed having a little check at the scoreboard and having a little chat here. Travesi, safe Dean. Let's have a little listen. Looking for a head kick. And this could be pivotal. It's one round all. If this goes in his favour, it could be a big one. Little bit? Little touch? I don't know, but with some grabbing, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's four or no. But no. This is good for Richard, but Katusi is now rested. He's leading 2-1. He needs 42 more seconds just to be in the same place. Obviously, Orderman didn't score. He needs to do something else. Maybe one more punch just to be tied. Well, he tries the back leg turn and kick instead. The punch wasn't on. It is this time, but hitting the deck. Katusi just disappointed there. He knows it's gam jump. Yeah, we can see he's really disappointed. Gutted. Front leg counter. Good back leg attempt there from Orderman. Adapting to the KPNP protector system. Both men kicking with freedom. Into the last 30 we go. Um, that was not strong kick, but it's scored and 4-2 for Katusi. Yeah, not the power, but the perfect placement. Orderman tries with the head kick, lands it this time. Has he landed a spot in the final? Into the last 10 seconds we go. Katusi with a point to prove. Tries with a couple of kicks on the inside. Orderman steps round into the clinch. Into the last couple of seconds we go. Good push kick to the body from Richard Orderman. The quality counts. Excellent performance. Amazing, really. He tried it like seven or eight times. Every time it was so close. And when it mattered the most in the third round with the tight result, he scored like amazing, amazing kick. I would love to see this over and over again, really. I think we're going to get the chance to do just that. Well, he may have been not the tallest, but he stood tallest there in the end. Richard Andre Orderman, still Andre the Giant, and a giant performance. And as you say, the